Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of March 2020. All right, Libra, your first card is the Sun card. All right, we're starting off the month very good. Feeling blessed, uh, feeling joyful, um, really feeling, <sighs> having hope is what they're telling me, having hope, uh, whether it's situations that are start, starting to fall into place, uh, whether it's having clarity of mind, an aha moment for some of you guys, um, but overall, it's a very grounded type of energy, and it's feeling uh, blessed or thankful for uh for the things that are starting to fall into place, like I said, for you guys. Now, you do have the Eight of Swords, and this is the obstacle. So, I see you guys, for some of you guys, this could represent, like, struggling. Perhaps being in a situation, feeling stuck and not knowing what to do. I feel that this month of March is going to be the month where you decide or where there is a decision that is made. Um, that is going to push you away from feeling like you're restricted or like things are not progressing or like you're stuck. Now, the Five of Swords does speak to me about a lot of arguments, a lot of misunderstandings, uh, even people being around you, current energies, uh, people around you being envious or being uh, very confrontational. Now, you also do have the Wheel of uh, Fortune here, which is signifying to me uh, the wheel is starting to turn. Things are going to start to, again, like I said, feel like they're falling into place or it's making more sense now. With the Six of Wands, there is news that's coming. Uh, news for some of you guys, it could even be um, hearing about um, if you guys are currently dealing with a partner or a relationship where there is a lot of instability, a lot of arguments or misunderstandings, and there's a feeling of... Um, disconnect for some of you guys it could even be that there was a recent separation with the death card here um they will be returning they will be trying to reach out to you uh if this was you or if this is you in the month of uh, march that makes the decision to walk away you're going to understand that this was the best uh i feel that for some of you guys it could be that you're just not the partner the partner and yourself are perhaps not a good mesh. Uh, perhaps you guys have a lot of misunderstandings because you guys don't know how to communicate. Um, and with the death card, again, like I said, I feel that for some of you guys, an ending to a relationship, definitely an ending to a relationship is coming, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship or are currently married. I feel that there's going to be a decision that's made. It may be from you, Libra, or it may be from your partner uh, that decides to give each other some space or some room. Uh, with the Hierophant here, I feel that for the majority of those of you guys that are in a long-term relationship, I think you guys have been trying to work it out very, very hard or it's been like a long journey. But what they're saying is that there's a lot of, there is a lot of things uh, when it comes to relationships that they see it very differently from you, Libra. Um, so ultimately you guys have a lot of differences, too many differences, I should say. Um, yeah, so it's, it's almost like they're being restricted or you're being restricted. You feel like you can't be yourself anymore, or they feel like they can't be themselves anymore. And coming to that understanding of, you know what, maybe we need some time, give each other some space. When that happens, or if you're currently dealing with that, you're going to come to the understanding that you're better off without them. Uh, because then, you know, the pressure or the feeling of not being yourself is not no longer weighing heavy on you. Now, you do have here the page of pentacles. Um, if it was you, Libra, the one that walked away or concluded a relationship, I do see them trying to reach out or coming back around. Um... But ultimately, again, like I said, I feel that there's too many differences with you guys uh, to be able to salvage the relationship or to move uh, further in the relationship or to continue the relationship. 
let me pull out two more cards to get clarification okay yeah so what they're saying here is that there is a lot of uncertainty in this relationship and it has more to do with the fact that you guys can't seem to get on the same page um with the high priestess here in the five of cups i feel that in your gut you feel like you know you guys are hurting each other more even perhaps bringing out the worst in each other at this point and as much as it hurts i think you already know that it's time for you to walk away from this if those of you guys out there that are currently dealing with a relationship or a partner that expects you to be committed, expects you to be loyal, expects you to always be the one to really try to, you know, make the relationship work. Um, but they're on the other on the other end, they're not willing to commit or they're not willing to uh put the same effort that you're putting libra it's time for you to walk away from this uh because with the page of pentacles it's gonna take a lot for you guys to get it together and with the wheel of fortune um with the wheel of fortune and the sun card i feel that you're kind of sacrificing your happiness um and it could be because of responsibilities it could be because you feel like you owe them something um but what they're saying here is that ultimately you're sacrificing your happiness. And if that's the case, then it's time for you to walk away from this Libra. All right. So I hope this gives you guys some type of clarity, some type of understanding. And we will see each other soon.